Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today I'm gonna to show you how to program the Baofeng K6 series of radios. They got two. They've got the ham radio version, and they've got the GMRS radio version. And I'm gonna show you how to program both of them, but in this area, only one works. Stay tuned to the end to figure out which one it is. I'm gonna go into repeater book on my phone. I'm going to filter this down to two meter repeaters, and there are three in my area. So I'm gonna look at the N6 RDS repeater. And you can see on the screen here that our receive frequency is 147.12, our transmit is 147.72, which means there's a positive six offset. And then we have an FM tone of 123 hertz, full-time internet linked to AZ Freedom Net repeater system. Awesome. I'm gonna try and key that in here. And we are actually in Cochise County, so we might be able to make that happen. On the radio, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna plug in my receive frequency. One, one four, four, seven, seven one, one, two, two zero. zero. There you go. I'm doing all of that without being on camera. Program in that receive frequency of one, one four, four, seven, seven one, two, zero. And that is gonna get me to listen to the repeater, but there is a privacy tone on here, so I need to get some tones in. So I'm just gonna go through the menu one step at a time. Channel name, we'll play with that in a minute to see if we can actually program it in from the radio. So there's my receive frequency that I typed in. There's my transmit frequency. I'm gonna leave this alone and see if the offset will fix that for me. My CTCSS tone for receive, I'm gonna put that in as 123. And my transmit CTCSS is also going to be is also going to be one two three. DCS is off. Bandwidth is wide. Transmit power is high. Silence mode forbid. Shift direction. Frequency direction. And this is a positive offset. Confirm. And my offset is zero six. Offset frequency zero 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 six zero zero. Confirm. Okay, and that should be it. I'm gonna go back up to the beginning. And that changed my transmit frequency to 147.72. So there's still nothing I can do with this channel name thing, but I need to save this into a memory channel. So I'm gonna save this into the Cancel. first available memory channel. So this says memory channel zero one. So we hit memory channel menu. And then I can change it, but I'm going to delete the channel that was already there. Delete channel. Confirm. Now it's gone. Memory channel. That's weird. Now it's changed. Receiving memory. And now it says that it's programmed. Channel mode. And now it's programmed. So you have to delete the existing channel before you can program in the new channel. So it will not overwrite a channel. So now we've got this repeater programmed in. Let's see if we can hit it. So I always do a little kerchunk first to see if I get the tail. That way I'm not talking over the tail. KM9G testing and nothing. Let's go outside. So now I'm outside of that big metal box behind me. Let's try it again. KM9G testing, but I ain't opening. So it's probably a height problem or a distance problem. Okay, so now that we've got that whole thing programmed in, we weren't able to open the repeater, but let's go in and try and change that channel name from the front panel. So I am in memory mode. Frequency mode, channel mode. Channel mode, as they call it in Baofeng speak. So I'm in channel mode. Menu. And the very first option is channel name. And then you hit menu to go in. So while you're in memory mode, you can edit channel name memories, but you can't do it in regular mode. So this is the capital N numbers, six, capital R, D, S, repeater. Confirm. So now it's saved as N6RDS. And if we come back out here, it shows and six RDS on the display. Pretty slick. Still can't talk on it though. So what happens when you get a repeater programmed in and you can't talk on it, what can you do? You need a better antenna, you need a higher antenna, you need more power, you need better line of sight. Those are all of the solutions that I can think of for getting a small handy talkie radio like this to get onto a repeater like that. 
And I'm not sure what the terrain is. I am new to the area. This is day two in Benson, Arizona area. Of course, ham radio isn't the only service that you can talk to on two-way handheld radios. The other thing you can do is get the GMRS version of this radio and it programs exactly the same. And in this area, there is a GMRS repeater. Let's take a look at that one. This is the WQPP 400 repeater in Benson. And you go through the exact same programming steps that I showed earlier in the video. 462.55 is the receive frequency. 46.755 is the transmit frequency. It's got a positive five megahertz offset and it has a PL tone of 146.2. Let's look at the radio. All right, so here we are at the radio screen. You can see 462.55, and you can see I'm in high power with a positive offset. And if I key down on the radio, you'll see, you'll see a transmit and receive over here. So it'll transmit out that I've attached to the repeater, and then it will show a receive signal coming back in from the repeater. WRNY 996, there's my transmit and there is the receive. So that little bit of response that you heard is what we call the repeater tail. And that basically means that the repeater heard you and identified itself, kept its tail open, opened up its carrier for a little bit. Basically it gave you some clue. And if there was somebody who was listening to the repeater and had a radio nearby and felt like talking to you, they would respond. Don't be afraid to put your call out on either GMRS or ham radio repeaters, as long as you're using the appropriate type accepted equipment for either of those two services and somebody might actually answer you. There will be a link to more information on this radio in the description down below, and there's a video right over here I think you might enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.